I'm Caitlin. I'm the nature interpreter at the Gorge Waterway Nature House, and today I'm going to be telling you about hermit crabs. Hermit crabs are not actually true crabs, but are instead more closely related to squat lobsters and porcelain crabs. One major difference between hermit crabs and true crabs is their exoskeletons. Both have an exoskeleton, but true crabs have a hard exoskeleton over their whole body, while a hermit crab's exoskeleton is hard at the front of the body and softer on the abdomen. To protect themselves from predators, hermit crabs live inside of abandoned snail shells. Their abdomen is curved so that it can fit into the shell, and the tip of the abdomen has appendages called uropods, which can grip onto the inside of the shell and hold it in place. Hermit crabs have to choose a new shell any time that they grow too large for the shell that they're in. Hermit crabs have three main things that they're looking for when they're choosing a shell. The shell has to be the right size for their body, it has to be strong enough to protect them from predators, and it has to be light enough that the hermit crab can move quickly. Hermit crabs can be quite picky about choosing new shells. They may steal shells from each other, and sometimes one hermit crab may even pull another hermit crab out of a shell that it wants for itself. Hermit crabs always have one claw that is larger than the other. They use the large claw for defense and for blocking the opening to their shell when they are inside. The smaller claw is used for more delicate tasks, like grabbing pieces of food. Hermit crabs can be either right-handed or left-handed, depending on the species. Hermit crabs can often be found in the intertidal zone, where they like to shelter in tide pools. The best way to find a hermit crab is to sit by a tide pool and wait for a few minutes. When you walk up to a tide pool or flip over a rock, most hermit crabs will hide in their shells. But if you stay very quiet and still, they will start to come out again. I hope you enjoyed learning about hermit crabs today, and next week I'll be talking about decorator crabs, which are one of the groups of true crabs that live in the Salish Sea. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time!